Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Avon Colony. Still on mission two. Um, they just keep on throwing more and more things for me to work on. Commendations. We currently have three whole commendations, so we're working on it. I like all these ships coming and going. I think it's it's really quite nice. I'd say one of the best things that this game has going for it is just its visual appeal. It looks great, I think. <laughs> Look at the swarm of drones come out to work. Intelligence spreading as well. Have some power issues. But well, we did for a second. I suppose if the game is going to make me build four geothermals just to like do a mission, I should probably build one more to cap this one off and just avoid the whole uh, deadly gas thing altogether. Not to mention I have the energy for it. Or the, sorry, the nanites. Odysseus recovered worm. Your team also recovered 211 units of sandworm meat, which has been loaded into the vessel's cargo inven- cargo hold. Okay. I have no idea what the capacity is, but we're just gonna keep on trying. Plenty of space in the battery. I've not used many of these things. Power monitoring, forced overtime, like I don't I don't think affecting their morale is a good idea. They lose morale? Like, okay, all that morale matters for is getting reelected, so we might as well turn that on. Until they're not gonna reelect me. <laughs> if they're not gonna reelect me. Then, uh, then we'll have to turn it off. Is this some some kind of Sim City in space? It's kind of like uh, Anno twenty twenty uh, Anno twenty seventy, or um, it's like City Skylines in space. I would say more so than Anno twenty seventy. And a 2070 is all about, like, ratios of this many buildings to this many buildings, and you got the three different ecosystems that have to, like, trade with each other and stuff. This is self-contained. It's just a single colony that you build. Ah, shoot. I didn't tell it to actually go there, did I? That, to me, that's kind of a mistake. Like, the, the UI is a little bit misleading here. I click on it, and I say, go there, and then I press X to close this screen. How does it actually have, it has more? Oh, 110% building efficiency because of the forced overtime. Sweet. <laughs> a ship's rating determines its odds of success for many types of encounters. Well, damn, it's a good thing we got lucky on that first one then. Does that mean I have a 102% chance of success? It's pretty good. It's a pretty good chance. Um. Anyway, uh, I think that it should automatically, if you press the X key, it should assume you meant to click OK, because I'm going to keep doing that over and over again, I'm sure of it. All right, so what should we build next? I mean, more storage is probably good. This is the type of game where, I don't know, to me at least, it's not the same thing as like <laughs> Factorio, where you don't want to have too much of a backlog of resources, but with this, a cushion for food, for example, I think could be very prudent. So let's just go kind of crazy here. Let's just throw a bunch of it down. Woodle! The Ottomans look weird today. <laughs> what? Why would we be playing the Ottomans? Two hundred and twenty-three colonists. Okay, down to fifteen point 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 three food per colonist. So either ratio has just gone down because we've immigrated a lot of people in recently, or I'm just doing a bad job of prioritizing farms, which is probably more likely. 
We have quite a long time until the next winter season, so I might remember. Melon efficiency is really quite quite bad here. There's just not very many good places for melons. I guess we don't have to give them every type of food. We could just grow something that's easier to grow here. Like, I could get 2.9 melons or a lot more of that stuff. Inua. And we're actually kind of low on this stuff, so sure. Governor. No, I don't want to talk to you, woman. I swear, it's probably the same woman I talked to last time. Okay. Maybe that will help? So barley's okay, broccoli's okay, corn's nah, melon and rice are the two that I'm kind of low on. I guess I could try to, to try to find more rice. Places where we can grow rice well. Like really well, hopefully. 60% is about the highest I'm seeing there. Some 70 over there, more 70 over here. We're, we're connected to this, so let's use this. Besides, I've got... Um, I have like a yeah skyscraper right here with only ten inhabitants, so it's time for some farmers. Farming structures, tier three farms straight away, making the rice. We know that it's going to end up taking seven tiles, is it? It goes four to five to seven. Yeah, so if I put it here, it's probably going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's that's good. And then we can do another one making the... Ugh, melons. So bad. I don't think that resource storage, uh, like, the distance between the storage facilities and the actual farms makes any difference at all, so I'm just not going to worry about that. Oh, they found, found something else. Another dead sandworm. Why did the rating go down? 82%. Average health. Oh, it's the health of the crew that's affecting... Interesting. Why is their health going down? It's equally down. I wonder if, uh... Okay, that's just the average health in the whole society, apparently. Wrong button. So... One second. We have rescued and explore. Alex Bello is also in poor health and will require medical attention upon returning to the colony. We got a combination. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, it might as well just keep it out there for a little while. Toxic gas emit. Okay, for the first time. Yay, cool. What is this? A nearby geothermal vent is about to erupt. Once the toxic gases reach your colony, they will cause major air quality problems and are especially likely to seep in through intake vents. Note that geothermal generators prevent toxic emissions from any geothermal vents they cover. So this one, bad. Got it. Okay. Let's turn this thing into fan mode. Throws the wind turbine into reverse, pushing away toxic gases. Let's do it. Creep spores detected. Okay. That's not good. You'll need scrubber drones to eliminate the creep spores. Also, I believe that there is something that you can use to shoot them. Automated structure that can defend your colony from creep spores, plague spores, and shard storms. 
Just gonna have to start outfitting our base with all these guns and stuff. Well, hold on. Does this thing use people? Nope, it's automated, so it doesn't need to be adjacent to any path, I think. Well, it needs, it needs a connection for power, but it doesn't need to be... Like, I can stick it right in here, I think. Let's put it there. Let's just be prudent and put one... All over the place. And one more for good measure. Come on, find a spot. It's gotta be a space. Decent. Okay. Go forth, my drones. Build. Build the guns. It's tier one of one. Shoot it down. It's like turret defense. Get it. Two, two disasters at once. Finish the done. Shh, kill it. You let it get through, you bastards. It can only be cleansed by a scrubber drone. All right, we did this last time, I think, but um, I, I had hoped to shoot it down before I actually got here. So this is on the structure overlay. 400 and... Okay, that's not how a percentage of infection should be calculated. Come on. Looks like one is plenty. Actually, uh, take care of it. But I'm gonna upgrade it anyway because reasons. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay, so toxic gas emission seems to be fine. It looks to me like the fan, the turbine, is just, like, preventing it from any tile that's, like, next to it. My so staff informs me that the creep infection is spreading on your colony. I trust you'll put an end to the infection before we lose the entire colony. Well, maybe. I'll try. Anyway, I think that a, a, a directly adjacent wind turbine next to each intake fan will make them pretty much immune to the effects, right? Seem, seems to be that way. Well, I already cleaned it, woman! Stop yelling at me. There's no... There's nothing... Oh, wait. Crap, it's over here. Oh. Apparently the game got sneaky and came in from both directions. This one does require people to work on it, so let's just, uh, build it there. Seems fine. I have a special assignment for you. Twelve commendations now. Good lord, game. An expedition vessel is idle. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Mm, okay. I, I don't know when you're supposed to decide to send it home. Better get out there. Can I cue them, I wonder? 
Go here. No. Wait. Yes, I can. It won't let me queue from the first one, though. Unless I go out and then back in, and now I can queue. There's your mission plan. Go forth. Sweet. That'll be a lot easier. Unless we get a pop-up saying, Hey, I found something! We'll have to redo the whole thing again. Hey, look, it's Robocop. That's a that's a big police drone. Like, compared to this little person right here. Pleased to meet you, Governor. Pleased to meet you. You've been living in my house this whole time, and... You think to just introduce yourself to me now, Leila Khan? Okay, so these uh, toxic gases are apparently spreading pretty far over here. I can't really tell. It's like hard to quantify. Like, is it in a specific tile? Is it just a visual effect? Is it is it something I need to fix? I don't know. Fine. Okay, so these ones are permanent. So what do we have the most of? We could just export nanites to import hollow units. Is this not something I can build myself? Import 50 service robots. An advanced type of consumer good that can be distributed to increase morale. I mean, we could do that. Well, let's just export our gold that we have for pasta. Yay, pasta! Whether your colonists are healthy and have access to satisfactory, satisfactory levels of healthcare. I'm pretty sure we built almost one of everything. So, why aren't they healthy? Like, I know I have a hospital. It's right here. And it is tier 2. Tier 2 of 2. We've got plague vaccines and nanomedications, so what are they whining about? I guess maybe we just need more people working here. We need more people! Period. Alright, like, what do you want? What, why aren't you happy? Please drone, 55% happiness. Commute, crime, health. Health. I mean, health is a big deal, so sure. Okay, everyone work here now. <laughs> Seems to be my go-to solution for everything. It's just, you know, what is wrong with you? But it's kind of hard to get around in here. Have you thought about building more tunnels? I built tons of tunnels. Just tunnel connections to everything. That's the employment overlay. I want housing. So, the ones that are red, those are the ones that I think I just need to build more housing near here so that they can do better. Like, I think what's happening is that new inhabitants are having to live way down here and then walk all the way back up here. So, that skyscraper is great and all, but I think we need a another skyscraper like over here somewhere closer to this whole region. Or maybe, if I can't fit a skyscraper, at least a habitat. So it could fit there. That would require me to move or remove this water pump. I mean, at the very least, a house here would be better than 
having to go all the way from over here. Besides, we have the nanites. Alright, everyone come live here! That brought this one down from max. Still, a lot of people that would prefer to live over here. I just, I don't really... I could build the little trashy outposts! The convenience of it is just the... I mean, if you think about it, 16 times 4 is 64, right? It's actually about as dense as a tier 3 habitat. It just costs a lot more power. 32 power versus 18. And then if we multiply 18 by 4, you got 16... No, uh... Uh, 20... 26, 36 times 2, 72. 72 nanites to build it. So it's the same nanite cost to build four outposts. It's just a difference in power consumption. But if we can fit homes, like, closer, then that's good, too. It's probably worth it. Just to let them work closer to where they want to work. This thing provides 1.6 air quality. That's pretty low. So this is the new outpost. Six people have moved here. All right, now that these some of these are coming down, that that seems better-ish. Fine. Crap. Looks like someone could use our assistance. I'm not sure what this is, but we should definitely take a closer look. I mean, just keep exploring, right? I mean, what? <laughs> Why stop? The pot ash is gone. All right, this disaster's gone. Let's go back to normal mode. And power is fine. Average and happiness is a little bit lower for my liking. Let's turn that policy off now. No more forced overtime. Ah, uh, shoot. This is one of those toggles that I'm going to have to min-max now. Every time I'm, I'm about to do, like, an important expedition mission, knowing that you can just toggle on overtime real quick to get a multiplier on your efficiency and affect mission success chance is going to make me want to do it. Darn. That's not good. Alright, cool. Well, things are going okay-ish in this. You can upgrade your habitat in the center. Upgrade the habitat. Uh... Is the habitat? I'm pretty sure I upgraded it. Yeah, it's tier 3 of 3 already. Just build another habitat right here. Might as well. Or, not a habitat, an outpost. It's not, it's not as energy efficient, but we've got five, five geothermals. And, like, they're barely being worked at all. They're basically just capped so that they... 
Never mind, they're not barely being worked at all, they're being worked rather extensively. But there's room for more power to be had. I could just build more solar, too. Like solar or the turbines. Like, here's a question. What's to stop me from just doing this? What if I just, like, just go and build, like, 50 turbines over here? Generates up to six power. Interesting. Up to. Is it not always six? No, that's just the way that they phrase it. They always... Yeah. So, I can just go build a ton of them. And then... Then who cares about power, right? Like, it's an automated structure that'll just generate power and whatever. We've rescued four stranded explorers now. All right, we're on the way back. Cool. Let's try to get that one little guy to come home. Fly home, Odysseus. Well done, Governor. We'll put a junior governor in charge of this colony as you move on to new challenges. Oh. I'm a chancellor now. Fancy. <laughs> You'll be pleased to hear that... But the ship hasn't even come home yet. It's still stranded. I, did, I never rescued them. They're still on the boat. We've subjected the object she recovered to analysis, and it immediately what? pinpointed the location of a few unusual structures. Your okay. next mission will be to start a colony at that location, so that we can analyze whatever it is that Calandra's object pointed us to. Pack your coat. We'll be taking you to an Arctic zone called Azara Falls. Okay. Victory! Sandy Gulch, I'm a, I'm a, I got an achievement as well. Sandy Gulch Champion, it says. Cool. Alright, cool. Uh, well, it's a great spot to take a break then, and uh, I'll be back in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in a little bit. See you soon.